Hey everybody, Tony Mejia here. Happy Leap Day. I'm with Playbook Experts now, part of uh, playbooksports.com. You can see all my picks at pb.buzz slash tm. I'm doing really well in soccer right now and tackling some college basketball and NBA. This first video that I'm doing, and, and trust me, I'll be doing them more than every four years, uh, is going to be dealing with a free pick at the end of the video on tonight's Hawaii UC Davis matchup. And uh, we're going to talk a little college basketball because Wednesday night brought uh, a few developments. There were no real upsets. Uh, the, the only one that really surprised me was uh, Samford getting crushed at Wofford 91 to 69. The Bulldogs had really been uh, cruising under Bucky McMillan. Uh, in the SOCON and uh, got a little bit of a wake-up call before the conference tournament, getting beat by the Terriers by 22. Uh, but other teams really did cruise, um, teams that were supposed to win that uh, are hoping to end up on the right side of the bubble. Northwestern was a big winner, uh, defeating Maryland. Illinois survived. Minnesota 105-97. to I saw that uh, the points permitted in that game were one of the highest in, uh, in recorded history. So it was uh, hopefully you had the over on that. Another high scoring game, um, you know, was uh, Old Miss and Bama. The Rebels had the tide on the ropes before a late flurry in the uh, both the early second half to take control for Alabama and then late to not only uh, pull away but get the cover for Nate Oates' Crimson Tide, who were coming off that awful loss in Lexington. But uh, they pulled off a 103 to 88 win in Oxford. I think Chris Beard's team is going to be just fine down the road once he gets all his horses, but uh, trying to compete with an Alabama squad that had a chip on its shoulder. Uh, did not go well uh, once uh, Alabama was able to settle in. And, uh, and uh, Estrada really had one of his best games since joining Alabama. We also saw uh, another high scoring game and probably the game of the night, Drake surviving Illinois, Chicago, 107 to 105. Uh, that was a, a really exciting game, went triple overtime. Virginia was a big winner tonight, surviving at Boston College. That game was a pick 'em. It was uh, really up for grabs down the stretch before the Cavaliers hit a couple of three pointers to take control and then made their free throws down the stretch uh, to survive a late BC rally. Iowa State was a 58 to 45 winner over Oklahoma. Hilton Magic continues to deliver for the Cyclones, who are probably looking at a top four seed at this point, unless things fall apart. The Big East was interesting tonight. St. John's was an 82-59 to 59 winner over Butler. Um, I still think they're on the wrong side of the bubble, and I think a lot of these teams will end up on the wrong side of the bubble. Seton Hall went to Omaha hoping for a statement and uh, got smacked down by Creighton, 85-64. to 64. The Blue Jays were obviously coming off a tough performance on Sunday at Madison Square Garden, so they bounced back. Providence was a 91-69 to 69 loser as well at Marquette. Uh, the Golden Eagles are playing some of the best basketball in the country right now. They took control of that game early, never looked back. I think the Friars have a shot, probably the best shot of all of these Big East teams that are hoping to be on the right side of the bubble come selection Sunday, but they've got to get their act together down the stretch under first year head coach Kim English. Xavier did what they had to do, crushing DePaul. Duke was able to beat uh, Louisville 84 to 59. Uh, and, and you saw Kyle Filipowski was was uh, fine, uh, no worse for the wear for what happened to him in that court storming at Wake Forest. He had nine points, ten rebounds, and six assists. Florida, Missouri got over the post of total. Gators did what they had to do at home, winning by nine. Uh, and uh, VCU defeated Rhode Island, blowing them out. Rivalry games in the Pac-12. Uh, Oregon did not cover but was able to survive Oregon State. That game was up for grabs over the final eight minutes. And Arizona did manage to cover, even though it looked dicey over the final two minutes. Bobby Hurley was looking for that cover play down the stretch. They missed a key three-pointer. And then Arizona was able to get a 85-67 uh, to 67 win, uh, covering the dozen uh, with an 18-point victory. So, you know, really the developments tonight, I think the Big East is going to end up with fewer bids than uh, were 
uh, originally forecast for them. We'll see how the Big East tournament shakes out in New York and how these uh, final couple of games of the regular season set up uh, a team or two to have a shot at being on the right side of the bubble. I think Northwestern did what they had to do in beating Maryland and probably ends up happy on Selection Sunday. A really nice job for Chris Collins and what he's been able to do there. So let me give you a free pick here for Leap Day, uh, Thursday, February 29th. And uh, this is a game that I was on the right side of when they played in Honolulu, Hawaii, and UC Davis. Um, Hawaii was banged up, but I, I really liked the fact that they were home with their backs against the wall, and they were able to deliver behind Bernardo da Silva uh, on February 10th, defeating UC Davis. Now UC Davis is a two-point favorite uh, in this rematch, uh, and I think they'll end up holding serve. The Aggies are, are pretty good at home, uh, although they're only three and seven against the spread over their last 10 and just five and five. I think this is a, a, a really nice spot for them. Hawaii, 10, 16 and one against the spread. And they're one and seven against a dog of one and a half points or more. And they're a two point dog in this one. I would actually bet the money line. You don't want to mess around uh, laying one and a half, two points, have UC Davis win by one and end up a loser. So go with the UC Davis Aggies on the money line to defeat Hawaii. Elijah Pepper down the stretch, I think he'll be too much. Hawaii was able to overcome his 27 points in the Big Island um, you know, a couple of weeks ago. I don't think they'll be able to overcome him again. That game featured over 50 free throws uh, and uh, cleared the posted total by over 20 points. I don't think this one is as high scoring and I don't think Hawaii ends up on the right side. So back UC Davis, that's the free play. Uh, that's our analysis for Wednesday's college basketball action. Again, join me at playbooksports.com. Uh, our playbook experts will have a show on Friday. Mark Lawrence is going to recap some of the college football season and the NFL season. That's going to be an exciting one. Uh, and you can, again, find my work at pb.buzz slash TM. Tony Mejia here, signing off.